Yeah, I'm really happy to present to you today uh, the third volume of our research endeavor, which is called Media for Democracy Monitor. Our question was, uh, to what extent do leading news media contribute to a healthy democracy? Freedom of expression and participation in civic and political life are at stake if not all sectors of society participate, including women. And that is why gender equality in and through the media is so relevant to democracy. With the Media for Democracy Monitor, we've been looking into a number of issues, including underrepresentation of women in the news content, including their roles in leadership position, including issues of harassment in the newsroom and in online. And one of the things that we are interested in and concerned about is uh, the extent to which there is a, a full perception of the problem and its magnitude. At the beginning, 10 years ago, when we started our research, it was media concentration at the national level. We had strong and large media companies. But what we have now is that we have global media concentration and we have just a handful of dominant uh, media companies who are controlling the digital media markets and uh, Bob McChesney called that situation a poison pill for democracy. Another finding that we made is that uh, separation of newsrooms from owners uh, is still valid, this is still a rule. Uh, many think that, the, oh, this is not the case anymore. Sales department are already entering and cracking down on newsrooms. This is not the case. They are still separated in most leading news media in our sample. But we do see an erosion uh, in this independence, uh, especially because of uh, pressure from advertisers. Uh, almost all countries uh, have reported uh, an increasing uh, sponsored content uh, with which newsrooms have to deal. So uh, what we can see is that big news media are still independent because they manage to have multiple revenue sources and so on. But local and regional news media, they are so exposed to pressure from advertisers that this is really a problem for democracy. So on the basis of the Media for Democracy finding, we're calling for more responsive research, for focused training of professionals, and for more gender-transformative media policies.